I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm just going to do what everybody else does. And if everybody else is doing it, surely it shouldn't be wrong. Surely it shouldn't be bad. If everybody voted for it, it's got to be okay. And that, for us as Muslims, is not the test of suitability of right or wrong. That which determines right or wrong is the divine guidance sent to us by Allah and the Sunnah of His Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We are not always the ones that go with the flow. Sometimes we have to battle upstream. Sometimes we have to go and stand in a direction and in a place that may not be flowing with what the rest of people's attitudes are, whether it's related to their sexual ethics, related to their uh, permissibility and attire, related to the things they consume, to the intoxication that they may take, whether it's related to the financial irresponsibility and usury and interest and riba systems that are performed, we don't just go with the flow. In fact, the Prophet ﷺ described you and I as being those who are distinct. He said that we're not different in that sense. We are strange with our distinction. We are not strange because we seek to be in opposition. He said ﷺ, how beautiful and what great good news awaits those who are gharib, those who will be estranged in their distinction from the majority of others. Other people in their majority are going to be doing things, but this smaller group of my followers, my people, my ummah, they're going to be distinct. They're going to have a hallmark. They're going to seek the akhirah more than the dunya. They're going to seek prayers while other people seek lusts. They're going to be people who are going to hold back from earning haram and from spending it in haram. They're going to be distinct from society. Tuba lil ghuraba. And the Prophet ﷺ said that this, this type of uh, attitude and behavior. Islam gharib. Islam, when it came, it entered into Mecca and it was distinct. It separated between people. People knew that this person is a Muslim from that because they were distinct. They did things in a different way, not in an opposing way, in a different, distinct way that ennobled them. They marked themselves with their clothing, with their prayer, with their wudu, with their cleanliness. They were distinct. How good is that reward for those who are distinct in that nature? Islam began as being distinct and it shall return to being distinct. It'll return to people, you know, even within our Muslim community, that there will always be those holding upon to the truth. They won't be harmed by those who have let them down even from their own people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the mark of distinction. Make our salah more important than other things in our life. Make our obedience to our parents and love for them more than other things in life. Make us from those who are honoring to the tradition in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu lovers of Allah azza wa jalla in the way that is complete as he is deserving, worshiping of him subhanahu wa ta'ala more than we worship our own desires. We are not the ummah that simply goes with the flow. We are those who at times battle upstream seeking the heights of al-Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you and I from the people of al-Firdaus. Allahumma ameen.